There are many lives around the world that can only be saved through organ transplantation. However, the long waiting list for organ transplants is a serious issue. While 1.5 million people worldwide are waiting for organ transplantation, only 10% actually receive one. Each year, countless patients lose their lives while waiting. There are also many patients who cannot even get on the waiting list, remaining uncounted. For patients who do receive a transplant, such as kidney transplantation, it's common to wait 5 years for kidney transplantation in the United States and 15 years in Japan. One groundbreaking technology that might save these people is called xenotransplantation, which is organ transplantation using organs from genetically engineered pigs. Let us introduce an incredible professor researching a method to save lives through the astonishing angle of pig cloning technology. Professor Nagashima from Meiji University is a leading expert in animal cloning research. In February 2024, uh, we produced a specially designed genome edited pig for xenotransplantation for the first time in Japan. Uh, this achievement will accelerate the clinical application of xenotransplantation in Japan. Professor Nagashima is conducting innovative research to create organs that can be transplanted into humans using complex cloning techniques. The major challenge in the clinical application of xenotransplantation is immune rejection. To overcome this, Nagashima first performed genetic modifications on the genome of pig cells, knockout of some pig genes, insertion of human genes, the nucleus, with parts of its genetic blueprints rewritten in this way, is then placed into the cytoplasm of a pig oocyte, leading to pregnancy and the birth of a genetically engineered pig. For xenotransplantation, pigs with more than 10 types of genetic modifications are necessary. It is extremely difficult to perform multiple genetic modifications at once but we have successfully produced pigs with 15 genetic modifications. To create a cloned pig with 15 genetic modifications, uh, we'll repeat the cloning process three times, uh, making modifications to five genes in each step. The clinical application of the genetically engineered pigs is expected to save many patients in Japan who are waiting for organ transplants. In the meantime, Nagashima is also involved in producing clones of genetically engineered pigs that have already been successfully used for kidney transplants in humans in the United States to help patients in need as soon as possible. His cloning technology supports a collaboration between a startup venture from Meiji University and a U.S. company. On the other hand, the application of cloning technology can advance research into treating severe human diseases. Nagashima is also researching incurable genetic diseases that develop in newborns and children. By using the same cloning technology, it's possible to create genetically engineered pigs with the same symptoms as humans with severe genetic diseases. Uh, due to the rarity of many genetic diseases, uh, research on treatments has not progressed sufficiently. Conducting research with genetically engineered pigs opens up the possibility of finding cures for patients suffering from severe symptoms. However, this research also involves the sacrifice of pig lives to save human lives. Nagashima states, All patients have the right to receive uh, appropriate medical care to live without any discrimination. This is a quote from the Lisbon Declaration of the World uh, Medical Association. Uh, while respecting patients' rights, it is my duty to minimize the sacrifice of big lives. Uh, we should never forget the respect and the gratitude for the lives of animals uh, in seeking a path to save as many people as possible. Organ transplantation involves the inner conflict that patients face as they wait for someone else's death to receive an organ. Comparing the value of human and animal life has no answer, but Professor Nagashima continues his research today, hoping to save as many people as possible from suffering.